Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today in this video, we will see how we can measure the impedance of a particular antenna. So in order to measure the impedance of a particular antenna, we need what you call as an impedance bridge. So let us see how we can calculate the impedance of an antenna using an impedance bridge. So first, let us consider the following impedance bridge. Now this is an impedance bridge which has got four impedances Z1, Z2, Z3 and Z4. So let us assume Z4 is the impedance of the antenna that we have to find. So let this be the test antenna. So if we know the value of Z1 and Z2 then if this particular impedance bridge is in the balanced condition then we can easily find Z4. So if Z1 and Z2 is a constant and we know and let Z3 be a variable resistance. So by changing the value of this Z3 we can see if there is a null detection here. That is if a null detection happens here then that is the condition for a balanced impedance bridge. So first let this be connected to a particular source. So now when this bridge is connected to this source some kind of a deflection is shown here in this particular null detector. Okay. So now what we do is we change the value of this Z3. We change the value of this Z3 until we get a null deflection in this particular null detector. And therefore once a particular null deflection is obtained in this particular null detector then this particular bridge is said to be balanced. So quickly writing down all this, here Z1 and Z2 are known impedances, Z3 is a variable impedance and Z4 is the value of the impedance of the antenna that we have to find. So now what we do is by changing the value of Z3 we obtain a balanced condition and we know that the balanced condition is reached when we see the null detector and when inside the null detector a null deflection is obtained. So now when this particular bridge is balanced we write the balanced condition. We all know when a particular bridge is balanced the balanced condition is given as Z1 by Z4 is equal to Z2 by Z3. That is Z1 by Z4 is equal to Z2 by Z3. That is the balanced condition. So therefore here the value of Z1 and Z2 is known and the value of Z3 is also known as we have adjusted this particular impedance and we have kept it at a particular point when this particular null deflection is obtained. So this Z3, the value of this Z3 is also known. So therefore what does this imply? This implies that the value of Z4 is equal to Z1, Z3 by Z2. Hence, like this, we can find the value of the impedance of a particular antenna by placing it inside this impedance bridge. So now, let us assume that the value of Z1, that is this particular known impedance, is of the form Z1 is equal to modulus of Z1 at an angle theta1. Similarly then, Z2 will also be modulus of Z2 at an angle theta2. And similarly, Z3 will also be equal to the modulus value of z3 at an angle theta3 that is this is the magnitude and this is the angle so therefore when it is written like this then what is the value of z4 z4 will also be equal to the magnitude of z4 at an angle theta4 but what is this magnitude this value of magnitude of z4 is obtained here so this Z1, Z3 by Z2 is the magnitude of Z4 and the value of theta4 is given as theta4 is equal to Z1, Z3 therefore theta1 plus theta3 divided by Z2 which means minus theta2. This thus gives the value of theta4. This thus is how we can find the impedance of a particular antenna by using the impedance bridge. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding as in how to find the impedance of a particular antenna. So this thus sums up module 2 of antenna wave propagation. So next we will be starting with module 3 of antenna wave propagation. So stay tuned for the next set of videos. Thank you guys and peace out. Bye.